You know, I bring something very important to this race. We know as Calgarians that this council is broken. And we know that the person who led us into this mess is not the one to lead us out. Calgarians want an outsider. They want someone with a fresh voice. But they also want someone who understands the issues, who understands what he's doing, and understands how to make change in a big organization. When Calgarians look across the three candidates, they'll see that I'm the one who has both the experience and the knowledge to be able to lead us out of here without having been part of this broken system. The polls show that uh, you've, got, you've got some decent support among younger people, but also the hardest people to get out to vote. How are you going to vote for the you know, I do have a ton of support among younger people. I've got a bunch of younger people standing behind me today, uh, many of whom are volunteering for their first ever election, many of whom are donating for the very first time, and yes, many of whom are voting for the very first time. And that's tremendously exciting to me. But you know, I also spent Saturday night in a condo of seniors with 40 people whose average age is 85, and you know what? Every single one of them took a long time. So the appeal of this campaign is across all Calgarians. It's not for the young, for the old, it's not for the east or for the west or for the south, and it's not for the ethnic or for the mainstream communities, it's for all Calgarians. It's for every Calgarian who dreams of a better Calgary and dreams of a better city council to get us there. You say Calgarians want an outsider as mayor, and uh, you are an outsider, and so is Barb Higgins. What makes you the better outsider to uh, take the job? The difference is this. We want an outsider. But we don't need someone with an enormously high learning curve to be able to take a year or two years to figure out how the job works. You know, I don't know where the mayor's bathroom is, but I do know a lot about how City Hall works. I go to City Hall meetings so people don't have to, and as I always say, you owe me. I understand the issues very, very, very well. I think that I will challenge any of my competitors to a trivia game on civic issues. I know them. I understand how organizations work. I understand how organizational change has to happen. And you know, compared to my two rivals, one of them has been there for nine years. He constantly tells us the council stinks. Well, it does stink, but he's been there for nine years, and he hasn't been able to do anything about it. And Calgarians understand that moving five chairs to the right is not really going to help him be able to do stuff if he hasn't been able to do it for nine years. My other competitor has done a great amount of work for this community. She believes in this community. She believes in the future of Calgary. But she's never been to a city council meeting. She's never managed employees. She's never managed a budget. And I think Calgarians say, no, nah, this job is bigger than that. And we have to be able to do We have to have someone in there who can do those things. I think a smaller field would be 